Hello everyone, this is Harshin from Grade 5. Today I am going to be showcasing my final project of the Kid Robotics Foundation level. It is called Your Home as it is based on the idea of home automation and makes work in houses easier. It is a combination of five different circuits. One, doorbell with buzzer. Two, switch and fan. Three, automatic outdoor lighting. Four, light with brightness control. And five, presence lighting. There are three measurable aspects of electricity. 1. Voltage 2. Current 3. Resistance Voltage is the potential difference across two points. In other words, it is how much the electricity wants to flow from one side to the other. Current is the flow of charge and resistance limits the current flowing through a conductor. The, these are interconnected by Ohm's law. So this is the circuit diagram of the project. The five circuits are connected in parallel to the battery so that the circuits get the same amount of voltage. This is the mod house in which I have placed the circuits. The roof has the power supply board which, which connects to the battery with the USB to wire jack cable. All of the boards connect to the power supply board for power. The rest of the boards can be classified into four types. They are the inputs, which is how we interact with the circuit. I use three of these from the kit. Momentary switch board, push button board, and two-way switch board. Next are the sensors, which measure specific aspects of the environment. I use two of these, light sensor board and IR sensor board. Next is the processing part, which manipulates the output of the circuit. I used one of these, potentiometer board. Finally, we have the outputs, which is how we can see what the circuit has done. There, I use three of these, the LED board, more buzzer board, and the motor. To explain switches, I have to explain types of circuits. There are three types of circuits. One, open circuit. Two, closed circuit. Three, short circuit. An open circuit is a circuit where there is a gap in the circuit. In other words, it is broken so the electricity cannot flow through. A closed circuit is just the opposite, as it is a circuit which is not broken so that the electricity can flow through. A short circuit happens when the positive and negative of the battery touch each other. This is dangerous as this can cause sparks and the battery may explode. Back to the topic of switches, all that they do is make or break the circuit, but they give us a lot of control over the circuit. There are many types of switches, but the only way in which they differ is the way in which we activate them and the way in which they behave. A momentary switch is the simplest type of switch. It is normally open and closes when you press it. In other words, the circuit works when it's being pressed. So this is the circuit using it, and when I press this uh, switch, the buzzer makes a loud noise. This is the doorbell system. Next, I have the push button. A push button is different as when pressed, it swaps. If it's closed, it will become open and vice versa. And once released, it will stay in that state. This was used here for the fan as you don't want to continuously press the button. So when I press it, the fan works. And when I press it again, the fan stops. The two-way switch is special because it has three outputs, COM, A, and B. COM stands for common. The switch has a slider. So when it is to this side, COM and A are connected, and when it is to this side, COM and B is connected. It is also called an SPDT switch. SPDT stands for single pole double throw. I use it for the light with brightness control, so when it is to this side, the LED is at full brightness, and when it is to this side, the LED is dipped by this potentiometer here. So, if I take a screwdriver and I turn this, I can I can change the dimness or brightness of the LED. But when it is to this side, it's fully bright. No matter how much I change this, that will not change. The switch is a mechanical device, therefore it has no need for positive or negative. The motor also has no need for a positive or negative, as when they are swapped, the motor just spins in the other direction. Light emitting diodes, also known as LEDs, have a positive and negative, so they have polarity. These need to be connected up correctly, 
otherwise it will not otherwise the LEDs will not work. Another thing I'd like to mention is that all of the boards have their own resistors so that the LEDs in them do not burst due to high voltage. There are two more circuits, both of which include sensor modules. Each of the sensor modules has their own potential meter so that you can set the sensitivity of each of them. The first circuit I'm going to show is the one using the light sensor. It is the automatic outdoor lighting so that the lights turn on when it's dark. The, it has an LDR which stands for light dependent resistor. This is the LDR. The LDR's resistance decreases when light falls on it. And the, the module has a 5 volt and a ground which connects to the power supply board and an out, out with further output. If the output is connected to the positive of the LED, then, then the LED will turn on when there is light. This is the opposite of what we want. So what I did was I connected the output of the uh, I connected the output to the negative of the LED so that it would work properly. The sensitivity can be adjusted. So right now it's super sensitive. And if we turn this part it will become super insensitive. So right now it's saying that it's dark and it won't say that it's uh, there's, it, there's light unless I shine a very bright light on it. The final circuit is the presence lighting. It has an IR sensor module and it has two IR LEDs. This black one is the detector and the transparent one is the emitter. The way it works is that a beam of light comes out of the uh, comes out of the emitter, and if there is an object in the middle, the IR light bounces off the object and goes to the detector, which gives an output. This can also be adjusted, but this is for distance. So if I uh, put my finger here, the lights turn on. They are not usually used in rooms, as the range will have to be really high. Therefore, they are usually used in closets. That concludes my project for the Kidobotics Foundation level. Thanks for watching and I hope it was informative.